Hello everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to be cash stuffing the remainder of the original money that I had available to cash stuff. I will insert a picture and indicate what the original amount was but there were things that had to come out of that my son needed a prescription my mom needed a prescription there were some items from the store that i had to get i accidentally left a hair product at a client's house i had to repurchase that product i ended up eating out this weekend and that was not my original intention so this money got touched long story short so we are going to cash stuff what we have left and this is a beautiful image most likely will be the thumbnail if it is the thumbnail then you know i was telling the truth um but we're gonna go ahead and count this you guys and then we are going to cash stuff what we have including the change so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 165, 165, 170, 175, 180, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196 dollars, and 50, 60, 70, 5, 75, 79 cents. All right. We're going to get this money set up, put that 50, we'll get these 20s, we've got a 10, all these 5s, they're not all facing the same direction. How many of you actually make your money face the same direction? Like, I didn't, I never used to care until I worked as a cashier and ever since working as a cashier i feel the need for all my monies to face the same direction and see this dollar bill i've been through some y'all it's got tape on it and everything and then for now we're gonna just set this change right in here All right. Well, let's start with the penny challenge. Let's just get that on up out the way. Oh, yeah, I got messages. Okay, so I realized in the last penny challenge video, I did not properly show you guys me coloring these in i didn't have the camera set up correctly i'm hoping in this video that i correct that and i have everything in your camera view so i originally was complaining about the scribbles and said that i wasn't going to do the scribbles that i was just going to put a line through it but because there are so many i honestly think scribbling makes the most sense to make sure that i'm not duplicating or like missing any spots i just got ink on me oh well so let's count this change and see how I want to do it. I'll probably just do it all as one and do the whole 79, which is not on this page. So we will go to this page and we will find the 79 and... Sometimes I struggle with coloring inside the lines, y'all. Don't judge me. So that's done. Make sure it's nice and dry. And we will come back to this. Now we are going to do our 52 Friday savings challenge because <laughs> a Friday has passed, y'all. That happened. Y'all know I like the sounds of these binders clicking and unclicking. Okay, it is for time for week 16. So 10, 15, and 16. Put 
Hold on, let me make sure I'm in the camera view, you guys. I have really short arms. I always say that I have T-Rex syndrome because my reach is just not far. But let's go ahead and mark this. I realized that this entire time I have not been doing this tracker. So my bad. Please forgive me for that. But I think I want to use a color for this tracker. And what better color than this beautiful, beautiful blue. It is a dual marker. I don't know if this marker is going to color on this tracker or if I have to use it for just the save savings challenge. Yeah, it's really inky. It's not going to. Yeah, this isn't going to dry on this tracker. So we're just going to. We're just going to wipe that off. Chalk that up to an epic fail. We're going to use the permanent marker instead. And so we're going to look. We have saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we've saved up to 16 weeks, which means we have saved. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? This doesn't actually tell you the total. I actually think that's in the back of this book, so I'll get that out. So week one, week two, week three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16 weeks. So we're going to get the calculator and we are going to open our build a bag savings challenge. And y'all already know how I feel about these satin these not satin but these sway bags the make me feel the fancies so we use the fancy bags okay and so this is the new book you guys i will go through this book in full full detail um i just don't know if i'm going to do it in this video because it is getting a little late and i need to check my phone so I might actually turn this into a voiceover because if I check my phone and I need to return a phone call, I'm definitely going to do that. So give me one second, y'all. Okay. So we're going to get our calculator out. We're going to get our baddies and budgets pen going on. And so the balance after a dollar is $1. The balance after $2 is three. I'm only using my calculator, y'all, because it. I am tired and I will legit mess this up. <laughs> and after $3, that's six. That brings us to 10. That brings us to 15. Brings us to No way, you guys. I already have 136 saved in that challenge. I'm I'm a little shocked. Like, 
And I legit have not pulled from these challenges except that one time that I pulled $20 out of the 100 envelope saving challenge. But that was the only time I pulled something out of that. I am so proud of myself, you guys. This is a big milestone for me as a single mom always trying to like rob peter to pay paul and literally you guys like i track my bills based on the cutoff date not the due date and that is just the reality of what i have to go through sometimes but i am not at all complaining because god has really blessed me and carried me and given me the ability to make money using the gifts and talents that he has given me with just my hands so i am very blessed for that and i'm not at all complaining but this is so cool you guys 136 dollars saved so far i am so proud of myself like i cannot wait and i am definitely going to try to save these bonuses so what i want to do is i want to cash stuff the rest of this and then maybe if i have time i will go ahead and go through this book and then um that'll be the end of the video so let's put that back and so the first thing that i'm going to do you guys is i'm going to get these two binders out these are going to be the main ones that we're working with today and this one gonna see household expenses I typically pay those online so that's not getting anything but this month you guys like I it is my birthday and my mom's birthday coming up this month so I definitely want to budget some self-care because I am getting my lashes done I am getting my nails done and I am getting a silk press all for my birthday so we're gonna leave this open but my mom's birthday is before mine so let's see what we've got oh my goodness you guys i did not put anything away from my tithe heavenly father please forgive me so i do right when i get funds i do um give money and do things like that relevant to my tithe but i did say that this is something that i want to try to cash stuff so based on the amount of money that i have made this past weekend let me add it up really quick because this is opposite pay week so this is not my pay week but i made let's see Um, okay. So that was Okay. So this weekend you guys I made a total of five hundred and sixty five dollars. And so I'm going to times that by point one zero. 10% of that is $56.56, or excuse me, $56.50. So it, forgive me, you guys, it's late. My brain is like not working all the way. So we are going to cash stuff $57 to tithe. Okay, that's done. I typically do write on those trackers, but I do that in my own time. Um, so I typically always cash stuff my son $20. And I do that so that he can go to the dollar store, things like that. Like I took his $20 and we used it when we went to Nickelodeon Universe. Um, I also can cash stuff like his childcare and things of that nature. Um, nothing for my future, my video editor, down payment. I was saving for um, a house at one point, you guys. So I still have self-care that I want to put something into. But before I do that, I don't know why I like them sideways like that. I think it's because it, it holds those up for me kind of like a bookshelf so gas I typically put that on my credit card 
Um, but I'm gonna ha actually have to start doing that in cash just so I can really track it better. Supermarket, we do not need a grocery order. We did a small one, so I don't need to um, cash stuff that. Miscellaneous is not needed. Dining out currently is not needed. We've been doing a really good job of eating at home. Um, my dental envelope is still in my wallet from that dentist appointment. Um, medical doesn't need anything. Subscriptions, those are coming on my credit cards. Credit card, <laughs> I should probably cash stuff something to my credit card, but I actually really want to cash stuff this birthday one because my mom has a birthday coming up and I am paying to get her brows and lashes done. And so that's going to run me around 300. I don't have that much to cash stuff right now, but if I start with it, it's going to give me a big cushion. So two, four, six, let's go ahead and cash stuff $75 toward that. Two, four, six, 65, 70, 75. Let's do 75 toward her birthday. And then we will put 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll do $25 into my self care. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do $25 into my self care. You know, I should write on the little tabs what everything is so I'm not like searching. That would make really, really good sense. But that would actually require me to, to do it. Whatever. Not a big deal. Okay. So, $25. And I will write on this one because I typically don't write on the budget sheet. But today is... to be a plus of $25 and now the balance is $25 and we're just gonna call this lashes and there we go you guys I'm a big regrets fan I love this binder it's one of the ones that was a custom make by baddies and budget she doesn't really do custom um binders anymore but when she did you guys she had some cute ones and then we're gonna see how much money we have left over you guys we have one two three we have three dollars left and we're gonna see where we want to put it let's do a challenge out of the book let's see if any of these have a three dollar slot oh look at that 